One day, humans will perfect space travel and we'll be able to experience the day-to-day -day on a different planet. What will those day-to-days look like? Let's take a look at some of the insane weather patterns on our fellow planets. Insane facts about weather on other planets. 25. The Rain on Venus Rain can be a relaxing thing to experience, at least here on Earth. You wouldn't want to sit out in the rain and contemplate your life when it comes to rain on Venus, mostly because the rain there is mostly sulfuric acid. Yikes. This sort of substance is super corrosive. Let's say humans found a way to live on Venus. When it pours, sulfuric acid would instantly destroy your clothes and then burn your flesh. Plus, when the water meets the sulfuric acid, violent explosions happen. So thankfully, there's not a lot of water in Venus's atmosphere. In any case, Venus's surface temperature gets so high that rain evaporates before it even hits the ground, so… 24. The Cold Storm What do any of us really know about Saturn? We know that it's the sixth planet away from the sun and the second largest planet in the solar system. Did you know there's also a really cold storm taking place at its north pole? If you look at it closely, you can see it's shaped like a hexagon where typically a storm like this would be more circular. The hexagon itself measures to about 8,600 miles long or 13,000 kilometers, nearly the same diameter as all of Earth's. 23. Mercury's Atmosphere Then we get to the innermost planet of our solar system, Mercury. Not only does this planet have the shortest year of all the planets, approximately 87 days, but it also has no atmosphere. You won't see any clouds in the sky or any storms. You'd think because it's the closest to the sun that it'd be the hottest planet. Yet that's not necessarily true. Because there's no atmosphere, it cannot retain all the heat from the sun, resulting in extreme fluctuating temperatures that go from cold to hot to cold again and so forth. 22. Space Dust Storms Although it's the closest to the Earth and one of the more explored planets, Mars remains one of the most mysterious planets we know of. If you think it's all red and empty out there, that's not completely true. Mars possesses the largest dust storms found throughout the entire solar system. These sorts of storms can last for months. Imagine being in a cloud of dust for more than a few hours. They're so big that they can cover the whole planet of Mars at one time. 21. The Great Dark Spot No, that's not the name of some evil mastermind dog. It's what we call the enormous spot seen on the surface of the gas planet Neptune. During the 1980s to the 1990s, NASA's Voyager 2 space probe detected the storm, measuring it to be larger than the diameter of Earth, to about 8,000 miles. What's more is that experts have no idea whether or not this storm still exists. It seemed to have moved as fast as 750 miles per hour and would rotate counterclockwise. 20. All of Saturn's rings One of the two planets that have rings is Saturn, which has four main groups of rings as well as three other fainter ring groups. If planets could have bling, Saturn would be dripping in it. This gas giant has a radius that measures to three times that of our own planet. In 2009, a new ring was discovered, measuring to 200 times the diameter of Saturn itself. In this new one, you would probably fit about a billion Earths inside of it. 19. The Commonality of Giants The planets known as Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune have a few things in common. For one, they're all categorized as gas giants, meaning they consist primarily of gas, hydrogen, and helium, as opposed to solid matter. And for another, they share similar weather characteristics. All these planets are known to have high winds as well as experience storms that will last for a long period of time. In addition to the weather, they also carry the same basic elements as stars do. 18. The Warmest Planet Another reason you would probably not want to live on Venus in addition to the acid rain is the fact that its atmosphere contains a thick layer of carbon dioxide. Due to this, it allows for the atmosphere to be more dense and retain the sun's radiation. This also makes the atmosphere more dense than Mercury's, explaining why it's at a much more stable hot temperature than the innermost planet. Venus reaches a surface temperature of 872 degrees Fahrenheit or 467 degrees Celsius. 17. Warm on the inside It may seem daunting that the biggest planet in our solar system is just this really big ball of gas, but rest assured, even a scary giant like Jupiter has a warm side, which happens to be its inside. It sits at about 483.8 million miles away from the sun and is the fifth furthest planet from the great star in the sky. While Jupiter may be too far away from the sun to retain heat from our star, the inside gets heated a la convection of liquid and plasma. 
16. The New Dark Spot Remember how we just talked about the old Great Dark Spot on Neptune and how no one knows what happened to it? Well, as of 2016, it has been confirmed that there is a new dark spot that has appeared on the outer planet. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope spotted the new mark in 2015 and was confirmed to be a new one the following year. It appears to be three times bigger than how storms measure on Earth, going up to 3,000 miles. The bright clouds look similar to the lenticular and pileous clouds we get on Earth, except these clouds are made of methane ice crystals. 15. Mercury's Axial Tilt Just to clarify, a planet's axial tilt refers to the angle between its rotational axis at the North Pole and the perpendicular line to the orbital plane of the planet. On Earth, this causes the seasons. Mercury, on the other hand, only has a slight axial tilt, therefore no seasonal changes occur. It rotates super slow because of this small tilt, so slow that it gets about three days every two years. 14. Jupiter's Moons It correlates that the biggest planet we know of also has a bunch of moons. Not the most moons ever, but still relatively a lot of moons. Jupiter has 67 moons, with most of them experiencing extreme weather conditions. One of its moons, Europa, has a surface that is a saltwater ocean, spanning to 62 miles or 100 kilometers, and on top of that gets enclosed in a layer of ice. Then we move on to the moon called Io, with a surface of hundreds of volcanoes that respond to the gravitational fluctuations of Jupiter. 13. Triton of Neptune That sounds like an epic title. It's fitting for an epic moon. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, is the largest natural satellite for the planet and the first of Neptune's moons to be discovered. The average temperature rises to only negative 315 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 192 degrees Celsius. The moon slowly inches towards Neptune every year. Experts say it will eventually be ripped into a Saturn-like ring system. 12. Mars' Atmosphere Compared to Earth, Mars has a really thin atmosphere. Similar to that of Mercury's, the thin atmosphere also makes it impossible to retain the sun's heat, leading to temperatures at Mars' equator to reach 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius during the daytime. At night, it gets really cold, with it dropping as low as negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 50 degrees Celsius. 11. The Stripe Zones We talked about spots on planets, but did we ever get to stripes? The stripes on Jupiter's surface are caused by jet streams, with there being at least 30. These streams or stripes run along the planet in different directions. Earth only has about one or two in each hemisphere. You might think they look really interesting, a sight we can thank the frozen ammonia for since that's what it's made of. These streams can reach speeds of up to 300 miles per hour or 482 kilometers per hour. Jupiter's stripes are caused by jet streams. 10. The Violent Winds When winds can reach speeds of up to 1,500 miles per hour or 2,414 kilometers per hour, then it's safe to call that wind a violent one. On Earth, we don't experience winds that strong because of our different leveled surface. However, Neptune has a flat topography, and the lack of friction means that there's nothing to slow those winds down. 9. Too much pressure Venus is under a lot of pressure, literally. The high pressure here goes to about 90 times higher than the pressure present on Earth. In order for our planet to feel the same pressure, it requires Earth to plunge as deep as 1,000 meters underwater. 8. On its side the North Pole on Uranus faces the Sun for half the time in its 84-year orbit, with the South Pole facing the Sun for the other half. As a result, Uranus is tipped completely on its side, as you might have noticed in different depictions. The tilt seemed to have been caused by an Earth-sized planet that collided with Uranus not long after it first formed. 7. Where's Venus's side? When we look at Earth's 23.5 degree tilt compared to Venus's 177 degree tilt, we can see that it looks nearly perfectly vertical. This nearly vertical axis makes it so that one day on the second furthest planet from the Sun takes longer than its actual trip around the Sun. 6. Martian Ice Caps Not unlike on our home planet, the North and South Poles on Mars are also ice caps. Don't get all excited about the usage of ice in that sentence, though. The ice found on Mars isn't from frozen water, but a frozen carbon dioxide, which we Earthlings know better as dry ice. Intense snowstorms occur on Mars in turn. 5. The Coldest Planet The planet furthest from the Sun is Neptune, now that Pluto's been axed, RIP. So you would think it's definitely the coldest planet. Not so! There's so much debate on that front, with Uranus sometimes considered the coldest planet in the solar system. Temperatures here reach as low as negative 371 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 224 degrees Celsius. The active weather system can cause giant hurricanes, though we can only view them through infrared telescopes. 4. 
telescopic storms. While the hurricanes on Uranus can only be seen with an infrared telescope, something similar can be said for Jupiter's large and frequent storms. You can only see them with a telescope, of course, with the most famous being the Great Red Spot, which has been happening for, um, 400 years. Earth can fit easily into the Great Red Spot, though it has been shrinking since the 1800s. 3. Venus, bright and colorful If you've ever wondered why Venus looks so vibrant, we've got answers. The bright color is attributed by gases such as carbon dioxide and some sulfuric acid. From Earth, the planet appears to be either a green or yellow. However, unmanned missions reveal that the skies on Venus actually look more orange. 2. The Highest Mountain Move over Mount Everest, there's a bigger mountain in town and it's called Olympus Mons. You'll find it on Mars, standing at 17 miles or 27 kilometers high. It's also got the deepest and longest valley, which measures to about 2,500 miles or 4,000 kilometers. Think close to the size of Australia. The Valles Marineris reaches as deep as 5 to 6 miles or 8 to 10 kilometers. 1. Lakes in Space Again, don't get excited about the mention of water. The lakes found on Saturn's largest moon, Titan, are made from liquid methane instead. Still, it's covered in lakes. The temperatures of these bodies of methane go to about negative 260 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 162 degrees Celsius. Even hearing all that, which planet would you choose to live on? Tell us in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And for more content like this, click that subscribe button. Thank <laughs> you.